hi there welcome to my channel my name is stephanie and i'm a london-based content creator so someone asked me the other day on my instagram um she was just saying how do i actually cope with having so many fashion items accessories and everything like what do i actually do with them i thought that was a good question i thought i'll address it on my channel because i know people might be in trying to understand how the fashion bloggers even cope with all the big material things all around it so yes as a fashion blogger people get to send you a lot of things you get to buy things yourself you get to try a lot of things yourself you get to get items on a normal day you don't even you wouldn't want to buy or you wouldn't want to wear but you they look good and they want to show people how to style them so you eventually end up owning them one time in my life, I really used to hold all these things. Like, I used to love to have one particular jacket or having like five colors, one type of, I'll have every type of shoe, different types of bags. Like, it was something I was just, in my mind, I was saying, okay, since this is the work I do, especially we have how to style videos, it's always good to have like a variety of things. But at some point, I think it was a process, to be honest, after going through a lot of stress like socially. I just said detaching from things and I think even being a contractor as well like because as a contractor in, in UK you, you get paid more than a full staff but you get to change location a lot so you could just get a job here six months next you're going to another city three months you get it, it was quite hectic like that when I started doing a lot of eBay sales at the time like all the bags I had I keep saying one day I'll actually tell you guys my eBay story but I used to sell everything sometimes I'll be even be on the train and I'll see someone carrying a bag I'm like oh my god I just actually have this bag you know at some point I just started detaching from things I just started detaching from things I wouldn't say it's one thing but I know it had to do with economic stress social stress and financial stress just being based here and you know all the stress that just comes with it so the, the answer to the question is that I sell a lot of my things on eBay I have a little shop and it's not like a shop 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 it's just a place where I sell items sometimes even when I'm getting items before they even come to me i already put it on the ebay store because i know i'm just going to wear this thing for shoes and on the on the items i write it okay this is for it was used just for a shoot and yeah i didn't wear it anywhere and immediately like it goes so sometimes before an item even arrives to my house it's already sold on ebay like someone has already bought it some things sit down there for a very long time and all that so this video as i said guys is the whole i bought this item and it just came in so it just came in this morning and i thought i would unbox it with you guys so usually as seasons come and go i tend to change some of my accessories because obviously i'm a fashion blogger so i take a lot of pictures with stuff and it's always good to show people what's out there now you can put pictures of the item from the store there but when you wear it and style it it just looks more endearing also with these fashion items a lot of stores have affiliate links so i'm re registered in reward style so when i show you guys how to wear stuff and then you guys buy it with my link i actually get a commission if you don't return it with after 20 days or whatever days the company you know stipulates so normally like i put it on my instagram page the other day i, I had some lovely summer shoes from last year that i had worn out with the season and then i put them on ebay one brand i know so two brands i know go so fast on ebay that are high street are zara and top shop so i never feel bad investing in zara pieces because once i'm ready to sell them guys they are going and people like to buy zara for any okay price you put to them some people even literally go into zara and buy just random plenty things in too many sizes and once it goes out of stock they start selling it for double the price on ebay I've done that two years in a row with the h m and designer collections you know the ones that like the one they did with machino and then the one they did with i remember the second designer bauman yeah so you literally just buy stuff online and then go on ebay and sell it like double the price in next 24 hours people are willing to buy especially americans americans were so big on that adidas I did part guys I ordered <laughs> I'm sure you saw the whole I ordered the whole thing it came in twos for some reason they just sent me two I even sent one back and said okay yeah let me just try and put one in the store the Americans that bought this thing I bought this side leggings 44 pounds 50 everything sold for 95 pounds 95 pounds one even sold for 100 pounds and these were americans i think americans are really big so whenever you put something on ebay just try and open it internationally because it really helps and I explain that i had sold about three pairs of the slippers and sandals i wore last year one of it was zara the raffia one or what i call it, it was white as well and then two of them were top shop one was orange uh, mules that had heels and then another one was a pink mules that had heels obviously understandable that i'm going to have to replace this footwear for this season enough of that banter this um, sarah box came in today and i thought i'll unbox it with you guys
Okay, yeah, so this is the pet of Zara. So in Zara, I actually wear seven or eight. So if I see an item that is eight, I'll grab it. If I don't see an eight, I can grab a seven and it wouldn't be bad. This is what it looks like. It's just very beautiful. And then when you put your feet in it, it's so padded. Like it even feels so padded. In fact, I think it's called a padded something, something. So I wear a 41 in Zara, a 40 or 41 in Zara, and this is a 40. So I'll just do a link to a video of it and I give that this. So yeah, this is going to be one of my summer staples. I'm gonna rock the heck out of the sandals. That I'm very sure. I really, really love white sandals because they look so fresh. Whatever I wear them, it just looks so fresh and beautiful. So yeah, and this one it even has like that square so that most lovely shoes have these days my and it's like this padded thing because my feet is quite wide these padded straps are going to like help it you know look a bit cuter than it is so, yeah. the price of these sandals oh, obviously i should tell you the price of the sandals so this was 30 pounds 29.99 to be precise and i just thought it was worthy because zara stuff lasts like even when i get things from the thrift store that are zara they always last So that's it for this video i hope i've been able to explain myself a bit and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can drop a comment because i really love to read from you if you don't have energy to do any of these you can just like this video because it helps you go around i have a zara haul coming guys i don't need <laughs> i have a zara haul coming and i'm going to put it maybe in two days time or something see you on the next episode guys Bye bye